Hey guys, and thanks for stopping on in for today's how to set up the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Now you're going to want to make sure right out of the box that you have everything that you need to get started. The instruction manuals, we have the Fire TV Stick 4K itself, the remote batteries, a wall adapter for power, as well as a power cord, and we have an HDMI extender. And this HDMI extender, you can use it if you're having a hard time plugging in the device to the back of your TV. Sometimes it can be a tight fit or just to get better signal from Wi-Fi or your remote. It's nice to have that Fire TV stick a little bit away from the TV if you need it for that. So once we have all of the items that we know that came in this box, we're going to start setting up the power. So we need to take our power adapter and plug in the USB and then, of course, the wall adapter is going to plug into the wall on one end. The other end is going to be plugged in to our Fire TV Stick 4K in that micro USB slot. I was having a tough time plugging my Fire Stick 4K into the back of my TV, so I'm going to put the HDMI extender. Now, make sure you know which HDMI port that you're plugging into, and then find that particular source on your TV. So if it's HDMI 1, make sure you're on the source HDMI over on your television. Now we're going to transfer over to our TV screen as things start to boot up with our Fire Stick TV. This boot up process is going to take a little bit of time because we need to install updates, but once we get to this screen, we want to go through the process of setting up our remote, which is pretty simple. So we're going to take out our Fire Stick 4 TV Alexa voice remote with those batteries that so conveniently came with the whole setup. And we're going to, of course, put the batteries into the back of our remote and slide the cover back on. And it should pair automatically with your Fire Stick 4K device. Now, if it doesn't, I recommend taking the batteries out, putting them back in. And again, if that doesn't work, you can hold down the home button for about 10 seconds and then it should go into a pairing mode as well. But like I said, it should be good to go as soon as you put those batteries in. And then you need to click the play pause button on your remote and that'll take you over to the choose your language page and then it's going to be scanning for wireless internet networks in your area select your particular router then you need to type in your wireless router password and then it's going to connect you to your internet through your wireless router now, once we get that connection to be successful, then it's going to go through the updating process. And this can take quite a bit of time. It just depends on how fast your internet is. I think for me, it took almost around 15 minutes or so for it to completely install all of the software updates. I have a relatively slow internet connection, but then it's going to go through its reboot phase and it's going to install those software updates. And then it's going to reboot up again. So this is very similar to the first time around before we installed those updates, but it's going to be a little bit different this time, the second time through. So now once it goes through that boot up phase, it's going to scan for networks. And then again, it's going to check for updates, but since we just updated the system, it's going to take us to this page where we need to say that you already have an Amazon account or that you're new to Amazon, but you're more than likely probably going to have an Amazon account. You type in your Amazon account email and also your Amazon account password, then click sign in. And then it's going to register your Amazon Fire TV with your Amazon account, and it should say successfully registered. If you typed in everything properly, go through and get to the point where you're at the parental controls. You can decide what you want to do in that step. And then it's going to prepare your remote for setup. So this is going to be the part of the process where we're setting up the power and volume controls on our remote. So you need to select the brand of TV that you have. And it has just a ton of different options, but then it's going to take you through this prompt where it's going to play sound and you need to click the volume up and down on your remote. And if it's successful in turning the volume up and down, then you click yes on this particular prompt. 
and then your Fire TV remote should be successfully set up. So then we're going to go on and proceed. I recommend watching this whole tutorial that it runs you through. But after that tutorial, it's going to ask you if you want to download a handful of different recommended applications. So select whichever ones that you're interested in downloading and then click finish and move on to the next page. And then that's going to boot us up to the Amazon Fire TV Stick homepage. And everything should be good to go at this point. You're basically all set up. You have your apps and channels that come with the device as well as the ones that you selected. Now, if you want to install different applications, then on your home screen up at the top, you just go over to where it says apps and you can find all sorts of different applications in that area. And if you're interested in changing your different settings for whatever reason, the settings option is also in that top bar. You can go over and find that. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing for more and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.